Hey guys, here with another Android video. In this video, I want to share with you guys my top app launcher apps for Android devices. Um, lately, there's been many new um, app launchers, like for example, the ones that slides from the side, uh, trying to copy like the Ubuntu style um, mode. And but um, here in this video, I want to show you guys my favorite ones. So the first one has to be the one that slides from the side, which is Glovebox. Um, here, Glovebox, let's go ahead over here. First of all, you have to turn it on. Like you see right there, it's turned on. Let's turn it on. Now it's on. Um, the great thing about this app that I really, really like is that it looks very, very nice. It looks very, very simple. But of course, to add more apps, you have to um, upgrade to the premium, which I think it's um, $1.99, I think it is. And the other great thing is that you can also change the theme. You could go ahead and choose a, uh, the default, which is like ice, like frosty color, uh, the black color. Uh, this one is also the same one, and this one is like a clear black, and this one is like brown. Uh, let's go ahead and choose this one so you guys can see. Um, I could go over here, over here in, in settings, it lets you adjust the the bar over here which is gonna be where you're gonna slide your apps from like for example you could test it while you're in the app and you could go like that and this is how it would look which is very very cool I like the way it looks if you slide it all the way up to over here it won't launch any app like you see there it won't launch every any app but if you go over here like you see the icon over here changes so whatever um, I left I leave I left my finger on it will automatically launch it like see there it will automatically launch whatever app it's right there which is very very cool and very convenient it looks very beautiful I like the way this works I think it's a great great awesome idea the way to launch apps which looks very very cool and just like this app there's a couple apps that imitates this one as well like unity launcher it's another one sidebar is another one that just worked just like this but it has different choices as well you can also do put shortcuts here but of course you have to upgrade to the full version and for, to go back to the setting all you gotta do is click on there and here you could go ahead and go back and adjust where you want it to end um, here you could disable landscape mode or oh, here you go disable vibrate on touch uh, sensitivity this is very good if you have a case which uh, uh, the bumper rises up if you leave it over here it's gonna be hard to touch it because because of the uh, plastic over here but if you put it a lot wider it's gonna be a lot easier to touch even with the case on which is awesome so that for me is my I would say number four my third app launcher is an app that maybe lots of people never have considered it as using it as an app launcher because it's called notification toggles right here notification toggles the great thing about a notification toggles is that you can actually it's free first of all it's free completely free and you can actually put toggles any kind of toggle you could put a Wi-Fi toggle you could put a Bluetooth toggle Bluetooth settings brightness you can put any kind of toggles like a flashlight if you want as well you can put a flashlight there if, if you want uh, but the great thing I want to use it as an app launcher so over here where it says custom apps when you slide to the side you could add app um, apps and from here you could go through your apps which are in your in your draw of course you could keep on adding and there is like basically no limits there's basically no limits you could keep on adding and adding and adding there's no limits whatsoever here you got more options like enable uh, feedback haptic feedback which is very cool and it feels very nice and it lets you try try it there it vibrates when you adjust this it vibrates and lets you know how intense is the vibration which is good uh, here you can change icon colors and icons and, but that's it but the main reason we want it is because of the app launcher which is here if I slide right now look at this now you got a whole bunch of um, apps up there I know there's another app called um, quickly but that app only lets you put four apps and it also lets you put more than one row this app also lets you put two rows but the great thing is that it fits from edge to edge and if you put it landscape mode like you see there edge to edge very good the icons the icons of the apps they look a lot bigger now 
and if you put it like that, they look a lot smaller. But as you put, if you put less apps, it's gonna it's gonna uh, uh, change a little bit better. Look at that. Look at that. And here I could go ahead to the calculator. I could go to my bank account. Very very nice. I can also turn the flashlight on just from there, which is very cool. And that's very nice. I love it. And best of all, it's free and you can put toggles on it. So for me, that's my third app, which is very, very awesome. My second app is Circle Launcher Lite. There's two versions. There's a light version and there's a um, paid version. The paid version, I really don't know the price right now. I'll write it down in the bottom. But it's very, very cool. Like for example, and it works as a widget. Um, here, let's go ahead and put a widget. No, not that. A widget. Put a widget. When you put a widget, it act, choose a widget. It will automatically choose right there, circle launcher. So when you cho choose circle launcher, uh, you got a couple sizes. You got one by two, two by one, two by two. I recommend using this one, the one by two. Uh, once you launch it from here, I could go ahead add bunch of apps, every app that you want. And if I'm not mistaken, there's no limit as well, which makes it very, very good, very convenient. Look at that, I could keep on adding apps very easily, just like that. And from here I could go ahead and change the launcher style. But of course, this is gonna be a circle, but you could use it horizontal line as well, but you need the premium version. But that's not why I like this app. Um, here you can also change the widget label. Right now it's gonna say uh, launcher, but let's go ahead and see it. I'll show you guys how it would look. Like you see there, it looks like an icon, like an app. You click on it. And you see a circle with apps, which looks sweet. Look at that. Looks very, very sweet. That looks very sweet. But a great feature of this app, if you don't like the way the icon launch, oh, another thing, when you put it to the side and you launch it, this is how it looks. That looks very sweet. That's the best mode. I like it. Like it uh, close to the border. Right there, it looks very cool, like a half moon, looks awesome right there. But let's say, for example, you want to add, keep editing this um, icon. You can by touching there, once you open up, you touch and hold. And from here, you could go ahead and change the label. I could go ahead and change the label to, let's say, apps, instead of launcher, say apps. Um, here, you can also change the widget icon. You could change the icon to gray. Here you can also change the transparency of the icon. You can make it more transparency. Go there and go there. Let's go ahead and see how it looks now. Look at that. Look how it looks. It looks transparent. It looks a little bit colored, faded there. It looks very, very cool. Now it says app instead of launcher. And guess what? This over here, it says Ninja. Ninja, that's an app launcher. If I click on it, look at that. I bet you didn't know that was an app launcher. So that looks very, very cool. You can make it tra transparent completely, just like I did there. Let's go ahead here, open it up. Let's go to touch. Let's go to more widgets here. You have to make it completely 100%. Uh, here you can go ahead and put, um, change uh, this to, let's say, that's a ninja, right? Run. <laughs> and let's go back. And now it says, run, ninja. Look at that. That looks very, very sweet. I think that's very cool. And that's free. Best of all, you could do all that for free. Uh, the extras, you don't really have to get it, but that is very cool. So that's Circle Launcher. And one now with my top favorite launcher is SwipePad. SwipePad, like you see here, I've been using SwipePad for years already. Like at least three years already, I've been using SwipePad. And I just love it because you can put um, your hotspot, which is this, which is the point where you're going to swipe from anywhere. I could have it from here, swiping from here. And right here, if I want to add another icon, I could put up to 12 apps, but the, there is a paid version. A uh, paid version, I think, I believe it lets you put a lot more apps there. Uh, but 12 for me is enough. And right here, I could go ahead and click on that one. And from here, I could go ahead and add... Uh, an app right there and now I have now I have a launcher an app launch right there very very easy 
I love it very much. This is for me my favorite one because obviously there's nothing in the screen. There's no icon. There's no lettering like over here. There's nothing. So I could just go ahead and just know I know where I have to swipe from. So for example, if I want to change where I want to swipe from, I could go ahead to the app, swipe pad over here. Like you see over here, you see the red spot. That means that's the hot spot. If you, I want to change that, you know what? I don't want to use that no more. So let's go ahead and use um, left half edge. Use as the vault, and that's it. Now I'm gonna be using that, like you see over there. Now if I click over here, now I could have my apps launch from there, which is very very awesome. You can have it from over here as well. I'm trying to take this out. No, I don't want to use that. Uh, lower right edge, the fault, and that's it. Now it's from over here. Now I have it from over here, which is awesome. I think that's for me. That's for me. That's the best. But of course, that's my preference. You might have another preference like this one. This one for me is right, very close to that one when it comes to the way you can launch apps. And like you see, you can put lots and lots of apps. And the more apps you put, the arc, the bigger the arc is gonna be. Like you see there, this one has a lot more than this one. If I click on that one, the circle is a lot smaller. So that's very, very cool. So guys, uh, let me know what app launcher you guys love. And let me know which one do you, of these do you love the most. For me, like I said, Swipe Pad is my number one choice. But um, this one over here, Circle um, Circle Launcher, is very great as well. And of course, you might love the notification toggles app, which is which works as a launcher as well. Or maybe you're the type of guy who likes using the one from the side, which sometimes can be a little bit annoying if you have a case that raises like this one. If you like this wallpaper and you want to download it, just go ahead to this app right here the one that says cool wallpapers it says right there and just go ahead and search for it I really don't know the title of the wallpaper but it should follow oh, there it is look at it it's right there so all you gotta do is download it and install it very nice wallpaper looks very very cool love it a ninja riding a bike so guys I hope you guys like this video let me know what you guys think about it till next time